there in the 1960s, yeah. civil rights movement was still in full swing. Yeah. So I, I just want to say to be able to, to explore and still do something socially conscious, I think yeah. was, was with Gene Roddenberry as the, the creative genius behind it all. And Yes, he, he should get a lot of credit, but there were other guys that really worked on the okay. show. You know, people, as, as a, and I was a huge Star Trek fan as a kid, my early memories were watching, sneaking behind the couch, watching Star Trek episodes when I was like five years old, when my mother didn't know my brother what and I were there. What were you doing behind the couch? We were just hiding so she wouldn't see us. We were supposed to be in bed oh. and we would watch. And yeah, she would be Same with me. I, we, we weren't allowed to watch TV yeah. during the week. And it was scary. So I had to catch most of it in yeah. reruns. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Apollo 11 memories. But as an astronaut, people would sometimes ask me a simple question, you know, the yes, no questions or the binary question. Star Trek or Star Wars? What was your answer, Scott? I used to say when I was a young fighter pilot, oh, absolutely, 